Well, let's go right back to the beginning almost. How did you first get into cricket? I think cricket was always in my family. Uh, my, my father was a, was a cricket player for Broughton Cricket Club in Salford, right in the inner city, Manchester. And from an early age, we were taken as a, as a family to watch dad play. You know, we'd be climbing over the sight screens and the umpires would be stopping the game and we'd be, we'd be playing little test matches on the side of the pitch. Uh, Mum was making the teas. Uh, and it was a family occasion every Saturday. So, so I think cricket was in our family from a very, very early age. Can you remember your first memories of cricket? Yeah, I can. I can remember playing for Broughton Cricket Club when I was about nine. Uh, I think they were short and I played for the under-18s. Uh, just had I fielded at third man and batted number 11. Didn't bat, didn't bowl, didn't touch the ball, but it was a great occasion because I'd played, played with all these under-18-year-old kids. So, yeah, excitement was, uh, was one thing when it came to cricket. Growing up, did you always just want to be a cricketer? No, 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 not at all. No, I wanted to be a chef. <laughs> So it's, uh, I could have been uh, I could have been Gordon Ramsay for all we know now, but uh, you know I, I went into cricket pretty early. I was um, I, I was lucky enough to play for England under 19s at a very young age. I was under 16 when I played for the under 19s, um, and uh, after a successful tour of of, um, of Bermuda, I came back and I was offered three contracts: one by Leicestershire, one by Nottinghamshire, and of course one by my, my own county. When you were growing up, what which players did you really look up to? Well, you know, that era was, was the Botham era. You know, Ian Botham was the, the god of cricket. He, he was someone I looked up to. He was my hero. Uh, although I'm not a Lancashire player, he was a big part of, of getting me an interest in cricket. Everyone wanted to be Ian Botham. Everyone wanted to be in bowling, winning the Ashes. But, you know, you look at the Lancashire team of then, it was a great team. You know, you, you Jack Simmons, you, you Clive Lloyd, you David Hughes, you John Abrams, who were household names. And, you know, coming, I remember coming with, with mum and dad on a Sunday afternoon to watch the old John player. And those players were, uh, were performing well under Jackie Bond at the time, the, the, the legendary Lancashire coach at the time. So he was actually the coach when I, when I made my debut. So it was, it was quite a... Quite a a nice feeling to be under under Jack. Talking of coaches, is there one coach that really sticks out in the memory, influenced you most? Yeah, I, th I think there's so it's, it's two two levels to this. I think that my, my amateur coach that that uh, that gave me the most guidance was a guy called Jim Kenyon uh, from Blackburn. He was a, he was a guy that uh, that's guided a lot of Lancashire players through the system. Um, he gave me so much of his time um, both before England tours and when I was struggling with Lancashire I always used to go back to Jim to work with my, on my batting uh, and work with my keeping so, so Jim was probably the amateur coach that I'd look up to uh, on the professional side my first coach was, was, was uh, my first coach when I got into the team was Alan Ormrod the ex-Lancashire and Worcester opening batsman who we did the double under, under Alan he was, a, he was a real father figure to, to the young lads a fair brother Heg Yates, Austin, Crawley, uh, and he was someone that, that knew how to manage young kids, gave us, gave us, a, gave us enough rope to, uh, to be able to go out and express ourselves as players with no fear, and I think it showed.